Okay, so we are still in La Palme and the big boss has just turned up. You going out? I don't think so because it's, uh, <laughs> as you can see, it's, qu it's quite windy. It's, it's super difficult. The sun is there. You don't see too much. And also the sand is flying far outside, so it makes the water brown, and you don't you don't really see the sandbank. So 75 and knots. Would it? Would it? If you if those things weren't a problem, the sun, the sand, the wind, 75 knots. Now it's not 75 knots, but uh, 75 knots is a lot. Huh? So I don't was know. That, you need we, to see we, the. We were about 20 minutes ago. We've called it 75. The knots. The problem as well is if you let go of the gear. It yeah. will fly away and you, you, you cannot swim after it, you know, because it will fly. And even if you catch it, it's going to be even harder to go to start again because it's going to be cho more choppy, more wind outside and hard to come back. Yeah. What is the ideal wind for setting a record? Because that's your goal at the moment. We're going to do another video on this, but you've got a project going on. Now, what, what is the goal of the project? Just before we go into the equipment stuff here. Uh, the goal of the project is to, to beat the, the sailing world record that is, uh, was made by, the, by Sail Rocket, the boat, uh, with a, 65, a little bit more than 65 knots. So it's like more or less 100K. Uh, so we would like to, we'd like to achieve this. So we are looking for a range of wind, not more than 40 knots, I don't think so, because uh, after 40 knots, it's really difficult to find a place where it's flat, uh, it's more gusty, and, uh, and it can be hard to control. So as you can see, all the, the boats from the America's Cup and stuff like this, they go 50 knots with 25 knots of wind. Yeah. So why we cannot do it as well, you know? So just efficiency is, yes. th is the yeah. main thing. Yeah. What's your record at the moment? My record is uh, 53 knots, 27. So it's like 98 uh, kilometer point 65. That's over 500 meters for the people who are yes, not yes, so yes. average over 500 yes. meters. And What's your peak speed? Peak was uh, 54.17. Uh, so it's uh, a little bit more than 100k. Okay. Right, we're going to talk about gear. Yes. We've got his van here. Yes. Like I say, just pulled up to the beach. <laughs> you were going to do some speed today. Today we will see how it goes, but I think we will, maybe we will wait tomorrow. The wind is dropping a little bit. It's going to be more easy to, to test up. Today you can go out for sure, but okay. it's going to be like a mission to test. Okay, so you've got, <laughs> there's a lot of kit in this van. It's not just your speed kit. You've obviously got your slalom kit, your foil kit. Firstly, is there any foil kit you do speed on? Because you've been doing some foil speed. We are waiting for one board that will come uh, pretty soon. So well, secret, I don't have the board. Secret boards? It's a little bit secret, oh, yes. Well, secret. Yes, any there's little, nothing any... special, but it's one board a little bit smaller than that with a kind of tricky... Uh, bottom so okay. we'll have to wait and see for that one <laughs> uh, but let's talk about your speed boards I'm noticing how many speed boards you got in here I have, I have three speed boards. I have the production the production uh, 45 JP yeah I have one board from uh, Luderitz which is a uh, 39 okay. centimeter and I have this one which is a custom board that I, I used to train a few times Anything special on these boards? No, What's it's like normal boards. It's totally okay. normal. Okay, so boards. 39 is your smallest that you 39 sell. is the smallest one. And how heavy are you? 100. Oh, I used to say 99 every 99. time. 99. <laughs> 100 kilos. Yeah, more or less. Um, and use a 39 board. What fin? Uh, normally, but it depends where. In here, you always use a little bit bigger fin than in Luderitz, but you use like 19 or 18. Okay. And in Luderitz, you are more or less 8, 18, 18.5. Oh, really? Well, that's pretty narrow. So I was speaking to a few of the boys. They're using 20, 20 in the bit. Yeah, not that's in Luderitz. Not, not, no, not in Luderitz, yeah, yeah. here. In here, yes. Yeah, because you, you always, it's a little bit more choppy. So if it's choppy, the fin, uh, you, need, you need to have more grip. So you need, uh, you need a little bit longer fin. And obviously asymmetrical fin. Asymmetrical fin, yes, for sure. Do you mess around with different manufacturer fins or you've got one guy you use or you keeping that open? Uh, it's quite a big we had this guy from, uh, from South of France who was making the gazol fin. That was good, but now I use a, a lot of the Z fin because uh, for me they are the best ones. Uh, but we have also the UFO fin from uh, Pompon, one guy from here. That's his UFO. Make, UFO, yeah. yes. He's making those fins that are uh, super good as well. I had some really, really good pick in, uh, in New Deritz with those fins. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, sales, what's your favorite speed sale? What, 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 what's, what do you think you can do speed on? Where does it start? Speed, uh, the best the best sale is for the 5.2 because uh, if, if you start using the 4.8, it's, it's too much wind. Okay. This is really difficult. And if you go with the 5.6, uh, 5.8, 
is, al is as well a little bit big. You know, it's, it's more draggy. The 5.2 is, uh, is more or less the cell that you, you want to use to, to go over 50 knots. And these are just production sails? I use, uh, I don't have any prototype here. I have my prototype from Luderitz, from the, uh, the world record that uh, I did. Still got it? I still have the sails. I have all my sails from, the, from all the record I want to keep. It's, it's an interesting one, that. Would you still use it? Or I, would... I can use it. I'm pretty sure I can use it. Every, every time we make new sails, and I always go with the old sails as well, and I, I, I try and I compare. But the, there's not so much evo of, of, of uh, evolution, you know, in the sales. They are, they are good, you know, they are uh, how you like it, it's kind of stiff profile. The profile is quite stiff and, uh, and uh, not too long boom. It's, you need to be well with the sales and, yeah. uh, and they will work for sure. Yeah, because I, I speak to a couple of the speed guys now, they all pretty much do the same thing. The record breaking stuff, they don't mess with. That's yeah. like, we know that goes fast. And like we say, you, you only get maybe one chance in Luderitz. You could have one day, you could have half yeah, exact, an hour. Exactly, that's, that's why I'm not there, because you know, we had the Defi Superstar, then uh, we have the PWA now in Marignan. Uh, we have a training camp with the national team just before, so I wanted to do as well. Uh, so for me, it's difficult to go to Luderitz. Luderitz, if you want, if you want to, uh, to put all the chance on your, on your side, you need to go for the one month and a little bit more, you know, they always do five weeks. Yeah. So you need to go for, for all those weeks because imagine you go the three weeks at the beginning and they do, that's what happened in 2015. It was at the end, it was almost the last week. Yeah. So if you went the three weeks before, you miss the day. Yeah. And you don't want to miss the day. Yeah. You could have spent a lot of money anyway, so you may as well spend well, a little bit more. Can't well, you? You, a lot time, of money, but it's also a lot time. of time. If you go five weeks there, it's one month and a half. Huh? Yeah. So it's a lot of traveling, it's a lot of uh, doing nothing there. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, for maybe one run. For, yeah, one run no, because when I the, when I did the record, I did uh, 17 runs over 52 knots. Huh? Yeah, Don't I, I did this, see. Man. It, I've seen the stats. <laughs> it's crazy. He had his own van. I had my van. Yes, You're doing laps, laps yes. after lap, yes. breaking record yes. after record yeah. after record. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Um, talk about harnesses. You used to be a seat harness man, I always remember. Yes, and yeah. you'd always be unhooking your straps. Yes, yes. And I'd always <laughs> see it, and it was always funny in my head. What you know, I'm, I'm seeing two, well, waist harness there. Yeah, I use the waist harness. The thing is, I was all the time training the whole winter with the waist harness. And as soon as the competition were coming, I was putting the seat harness. Now? Now, you know, this all this uh, new generation that came like 10 years ago, they all came with the West Harness and they showed that uh, you can still go fast with that. I remember uh, Ross was all the time yeah. uh, with the West Harness. And, uh, Ross Williams, obviously. Oh, Ross but, Williams, yeah. yes. And uh, I don't know, I was all the time keeping this harness. You know, I was, I was feeling more confident with that. But I was training, I remember I was training, my car, Bizianis, was always telling me, but why, why do you use the West Harness when we train? And for the competition, you use the seat harness. So I was joking with him, I was telling him all the time that I use the West Harness to train with you because I, this makes me more slow, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but at the end, you know, now I'm with the West Harness. If I do speed, I will use the, the seat harness. That's too. what I was going to yes. say. So in speed, seat harness still. I try with the West Harness, but I feel more confident, more, I feel better with the seat harness. It might sound a silly question. Are there different types of seat harness? Yes, you, you can find seat harness with a high hook and yeah. a medium and low, super low. So what are you using, high? No, no? medium. Medium, Medium, okay. but I could move easy in the harness. So I could, it's, it's funny because when I was with the seat harness and the, with the waist harness, I was using the same length of harness line. Okay. And normally you you'd use different ones, you know. So but, what, what, what about your boom? I'm quite interested to know your harness lines because a lot of people asking that is a very personal thing. Yes. We see some of the fast guys in the world using small harness lines, some of them using long. What you, what you, I what was, you uh, when I came on the tour, I was using a long harness line compared to the other guys and people were saying that I was long. What's, what's long? I don't remember that time, but now I use uh, like more or less 30, 32. Okay. Uh, in slalom? In slalom. Speed? Speed is the same, same, more or less the same, yes. Oh, that's interesting. But now with this uh, foiling, everybody is starting to use the super long uh, harness line to 
to, to break the body in two, you know, to get more control. Okay. Uh, so, so that's already I'd... changed from the first yes, foiling, yes. everyone was going shorter. Yes. And yeah, but we are going again. shorter because we are going upwind and downwind. Gotcha. So when you want to go upwind, you, you, you're better close to the harness, to yes. the boom. Yeah. So now we do only reaching, so everybody's putting longer harness. So now I'm starting to, to get longer harness line. Longer uh, than 32? Yeah, yeah, now I have the, the blue harness line there. Ah, I right, think. at the bottom. I use, I use those ones that, that are really ah, good. Super adjustable right. ones. These are like the old Imco ones I used to have. <laughs> like, uh, so those, one, those ones I, I just tried in, uh, in Defi Superstar. Yeah. And uh, I love them. They are super, super cool. They're so because easy Because you can, to... yeah, you can super adjust it. You have a long range. Now it's blocked. Yeah, you need it obviously yeah. fixed. So you can use it really long. I mean, they are. And, really and if long. you want to come back up in, yeah. you use it super short. No, it's really, it's really good. I really like it. I remember getting a pair of these from New Zealand when we used to do Imco. Yeah. They were a big hit. Yes. They only did them. My friend yeah. actually made them in England. They are amazing. Yeah, like those ones are uh, on this line.com. They, okay. they, they make good, super so good So that's job. interesting. So that's changing it. So you're talking about foil. When we were talking about speed before, what sort of size foil, front wing, mast, are you using when you're doing, like, when you're trying to go fast as you can on a foil? Uh, Is it the same as what you would use in the slalom? I don't have so many front wings because uh, I use the Neil Pike foil and uh, we have only the 90, 80, 70 and 60. Okay. The 60 is not as, is, is not, uh, there's not so much difference with the 70. So I always use the 70. So for speed, it's not, it's not good, it's too big. Okay. But uh, for the defi, I would have loved to have a smaller one to, to try to gain more, more speed because at the end, you arrive at the end of the, the performance of the, the profile of the wing. Yeah. So it's, it's super hard to go faster. I mean, we obviously just on the defi, we're talking about speed. There was probably some revolutionary moment, is that the right word? Like groundbreaking stuff going on at the defi with Nico Goya yes. winning probably the windiest yeah. downwind slalom yeah. race on the foil. Is yeah. that a change? You, you've obviously seen this coming for a while. But or have you? Yeah, or is we, that a we're shock gonna, for you? We're gonna go, no, 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 we're going to go faster and faster. The, the thing is, uh, at the defi, the first, the first reach was kind of uh, tight, you know, so the difference in speed between the slalom and uh, the fin and the foil was was too close to to get an advantage so but uh, nico he, he he was working a lot he developed really uh, fast fast front wings yeah. and back wings that he arrived there and he was uh, actually he's two knots faster than us yeah uh, in foil, do, do huh? foil his, and foil huh? yeah do you know his gps speed because i, I well, bet I you think guys he told me so on he, the course he, he did 35 i think yeah on the course that, well that's what i think i did 36 on the slalom okay on the fin with the fin uh, but with the foil I have, I, it's super hard to go yeah. more than 30. So because the, the wing is too big, you get too much power. Yeah. You, you really get too much power. So and you also use really small cells that I don't have as well. I have only my slalom cells, you know, so for me, it's, a, it's kind of tricky. We, we, I'm just discovering the thing, you know, he, the, he was working a lot uh, the, the last two years and he, this pay off, you know, but uh, all, all the brains will, will work a lot and uh, we'll come back on this, for sure. You did win the competition though. Yes, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> <laughs> I was super happy because, you know, I changed a little bit the life, you know, I'm working a lot now with the center and uh, I have a new baby coming. So the last three, three four months, I didn't sell that much, you know, so I didn't, I didn't train a lot and I cut the foot like uh, 10 days before the event. So I couldn't go no water. So it was, for me it was, I know I can go fast, you know, but you need some you need some time on the water. You need yeah. to train. You need to uh, do physical uh, exercise. You need to you, you need to get, arrive there pre prepared, you know. And I, I'm, I'm 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 I know that I was not 100% prepared. Yeah. But uh, I managed to be the more consistent. I won. I almost won the two first uh, race that we did there. We I did second and first in this kind of light win with uh, with my foil. I was really performant. After the wind picked up, so it was, uh, I was a little bit uh, with the foil. I go only 30 knots with the slalom, I can go, but if we need to point it, you know, it was a difficult choice. And, uh, and it managed to pay off because I was all the, all the time top uh, four or five. Yeah. Well, still got it. The boys yeah. still got it, that's for sure. Interesting about the gear there. Um, still not going out? No, I don't <laughs> think so because it's, we will, I think we will go in the morning tomorrow. Okay. Right, well, we'll see you tomorrow. Yes. On the water.
La Palma.